This is the Lindbergh 55342 1200 degree C split hinge tube furnace. This is a single zone tube furnace. It has a heated length of 24 inches. The actual bore diameter is four, approximately four and a half inches. And again, with a maximum temperature of 1200 degrees C. It is powered by 240 volts AC, single phase. First, let me open it up and show you inside. It has a rest in the back where you can conveniently leave that. Uh, what I've done for our demonstration is I plugged both ends with some uh, high temperature plugs. And now we're going to fire it up. This is the control unit. We'll turn on the power. And right now, I had run this a little bit before, it's showing 83 degrees. See? Uh, this is very simple to use. Uh, you can change the set point by simply raising or lowering it, respectively. Uh, I'm going to start off by pushing this up to 400 degrees C. Oop, went a little too fast. Okay, now um, while this is heating up, there's something I'd like to show you. Uh, the manual for this particular controller is very complete. And as the process engineer or process manager, if you do not want people changing the set point, you can lock them out. Uh, there is a complete instruction in the book on how to do that. There is an internal security switch. And of course, once you set the uh, set point lockout in the configuration, there is also a switch for that as well. Now this, no, under normal operation, this is not removed. But if this is slid out and you look carefully in the back, you'll see where it's written, security and configuration. When you drop this switch down into configuration by locking it in place, it will um, null out the operation so it won't heat the furnace, but it'll allow you then to set the different parameters, uh, including the set point limits. Uh, once you do that, and that is returned back, you can then take this switch in the back here and set that down hold on I'll, it's a little tricky to the security and what that will do is once that switch is in plate uh, the operators will not be able to change the set point all of this is uh, well detailed in the manual for the controller that comes with the uh, manual for the actual furnace. Now, as you can see, this furnace uh, for its size is very fast, and we are just about up to temperature within several minutes. Again, the maximum temperature is 1200 degrees, so we will progress upwards in um, intervals of uh, 400. As you can see, it has started to slow down. The PID settings in, in the configuration allow you to ramp up and slowly achieve your set point temperature. There you go. And at that point here, it'll it might go one or two degrees higher, but normally it holds it pretty steady. Now we're gonna bring the temperature up. To 800. Went 
too far. Okay, our elapsed time is about five minutes from 400 to 800 degrees, see? And here we go. Now I'm going to take it up the rest of the way. It's already controlling pretty well. And we'll take it up to its maximum temperature of 1200 degrees C. Okay, the elapsed time from 800 up to 1200 was about uh, 14 minutes, plus or minus a minute. And here we are at our maximum temperature of 1200. As you can see, it's already starting to control the temperature. Now I'll just... I'm going to lower the set point all the way down to zero. And I'll let it cool off for a few minutes. And this completes this demonstration.